Good morning, folks. Today we're going over some weather and just one top story of the day in science news, but it is a big one. We are also now going to do a multi-wavelength solar analysis now that SDO satellite is back online in total, including the HMI. So let's start with the last 24 hours on our star and 193 angstroms. It was a pretty quiet day. We've been saying to expect the flaring to die down, and it has. We'll see why with the sunspots momentarily. We see the faint hints of the coronal hole here, but we need a better look, so let's switch to 211 angstroms of UV light to see the magnetic opening there. The dark patch spewing enhanced solar wind is letting it loose in our direction now. NOAA predicts a multi-day fast solar wind event beginning on the 13th. That would be Monday. Bottom panel in the endless spiral shows plasma speed here, while the top shows density. You can see us entering the faster stream there. Geomagnetic unrest is likely to be minor to moderate during this event. Sunspots up next. This was yesterday and now. Here's how much it moves in a day. Not much. That is all the sun spins from our perspective in 24 hours. But say goodbye to Gong for a while because the HMI instrument on SDO is back. Vastly better detail and we can see the decay and spread of the sunspots that has that flaring level dropping out. We'll keep watching those until they turn out of view, never know when development may occur, and the same goes for the plasma filaments. They are locked tight at the moment, but destabilization can happen in minutes. We are watching these as well. Quick look at the storm in the Indian Ocean up next. It's arriving at Madagascar's northern reach now, slated to scrape past and dive south between the island and Africa. Rough conditions ahead for this area. Now, let's go to our top story. Sediments from the Drake Passage have been analyzed and found to show every single geomagnetic excursion, every magnetic pull flip, that happened in the time covered by the sample. This has never been seen before anywhere on Earth. So, here is just one of about nine key charts in the paper, but it shows what needs to be shown. So, this sample covers from 15,000 to 55,000 years ago, a span of 40,000 years total. This is a paleo intensity chart and it shows how strong Earth's magnetic field was over time, with the low points being tied to the pole shifts. Folks, we've never seen any sample reliably record more than half the excursions. This is because when an area is positioned to record the shifting magnetic pole, it is rather unlikely to be in an equally advantageous position when it shifts next time. Somehow, the Drake Passage records it all. I have added vertical lines for the events on this image here, starting on the right black vertical line, the unnamed but largely acknowledged event 54,000 years ago. Then Lachamp number one is at the pink line 48,000 years ago, Lachamp number two at red, Mono Lake at orange, the still unnamed 30,000 years ago event in yellow, Lake Mungo in green, Helena Polly in blue. Folks, that's all of them within the 40,000 year period of the sample. I would love to know if even shallower sediments show the events from 12,000 and 6,000 years ago. But folks, with this latest confirmation, I do suggest we call the event 30,000 years ago the Drake event for its confirmation in this Drake Passage sediment. These happen about every 6,000 years for 6,000 years since the last one and Earth's magnetic field has already started shifting again now. Folks, there's a lot happening the rest of the month at Observer Ranch. Cat's birthday is a barter and potluck party tonight for anyone who happens to be in the area. Happy birthday, Catherine. We have a special educational session of aid, comms, and care on the 18th. Focuses on ham radio. Will be a chance to win one. There's an Observer meetup on the 21st. The Pole Shift Conference is the 25th, and we have several other Pole Shift Conference opportunities for you this year. Our grand opening is going to be in April. Dr. Dunning for the Kings of Catastrophe event in May, and again, there is still more to be announced. Do it now. Plan a trip to come out and see us. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.